Hi folks, so uh, this is um, not as exciting a video as the title might make it sound, um, but it's essentially to say that online uh, and in the HEMA community in general, um, that I am aware of the, lots of people who um, like the idea of, of pirates and cutlasses and naval combat. Um, but I've been studying the British uh, naval uh, manuals for cutlass um, because I have an interest in the, in the weapon myself and I own some original ones. Um, and you can see videos of me cutting uh, with this cutlass, in fact, um, on, on this YouTube channel. And um, a lot of people talk about the use of the boarding axe. Now, I don't have a boarding axe. However, I do have a wood chopping axe and it's a, it's a little bit bigger than a boarding axe and boarding axes usually have a spike on the back. But I'll hold it anyway to give you the general impression. Um, and some people have reconstructed the use of the boarding axe. Now I suppose, um, I wouldn't go as far as to say that this is a rant, uh, because it's not. Um, but what I want to say is it's very important to emphasise that in a Royal Navy context, the fighting weapon of the sailor is the cutlass. Okay. Now, firstly, a ship is very able to carry lots of weapons and if any of you go to Portsmouth I highly recommend that you go and have a look at um, HMS Victory and also the Warrior. Um, now the Warrior is from 1860 and it's very interesting because um, it's got lots and lots of weapons in racks in a way that they would have been in 1860 um, and, uh, and incidentally that's the period when this uh, cutlass dates from pretty much. Um, now, what's interesting is the, the Warrior has racks and racks and racks and racks of cutlasses in every style of rack you can think of fitting in, in any corner of the ship. And not only does it have racks with cutlasses, it has racks with revolvers and racks with muskets, um, at, or actually rifles in, in, in the case of 1860. It also has um, boarding pikes, um, which were stored up against the mast, uh, the masts on the, on the deck of the ship. Now, What's important to say is, did they have racks of um, boarding axes? No, they didn't. However, they did have boarding axes. But the, what I'm essentially wanting to say is that boarding axes were primarily for chopping stuff up, like wood and rope. They were not fighting weapons. Now, that's not to say that people never used them for fighting, because can I hit someone with an axe? Yes, I can hit someone with an axe. Very good for zombies, I've heard. And you can swing it, not dexterously, this is a normal wood chopping axe, it's fairly heavy. Um, but definitely you could do lots and lots of damage with one. However, in a fight, would I rather have this? Or would I rather have this? I'd rather have the cutlass, by rather a long measure. Why? Well, how hard do you need to hit someone with a heavy object to put them out of combat, out of action? Um, well, certainly the cutlass will do the job. This will remove uh, limbs, this will chop through arms, this will take people's heads off fairly easily. I do not need a huge, great, heavy, cumbersome, slow axe to hit people with. Not only that, but this is going to have a big disadvantage in a fight against this. Because this is better balanced, quicker, longer than most boarding axes. It can thrust, it can cut, um, it's got a guard on the on the... Um, on the hilt, very very important. This has no guard at all. So essentially, boarding axes, rubbish as weapons, cutlasses, really good as weapons. So given that a ship in the Royal Navy has hundreds, potentially potentially even a thousand uh, cutlasses on board, um, why would you not use that and why would you use this? So my argument is Cutlass combat is the way forward, boarding axe combat isn't. And as a final note, I should add that in the Royal Navy from 1813 onwards, uh, thanks to Henry Charles Angelo, um, this was trained with regularly on Royal Navy ships uh, uh, and they practiced at least once a week and they did sparring with single sticks and they even did some kind of melee practice, melee games as well. So they were trained to use these and they had lots of them. They didn't really use these, except for chopping up wood. Thank you.